Welcome back to 13 on your side mornings. We've already had some snow today, but it's been very light Blake. Mm -hmm. We are expecting more impactful snow later this week. Yeah, and it all kicks off in that Tuesday to Wednesday right. time frame. Some growing consensus that many will see a switch to rain temporarily on Tuesday that might negate some of that significant snow, but at the very least an active forecast is on the horizon as we uh, make our way into this upcoming week, at least way more than what we have seen this entire season. 13 weather ball. Let's break down what's going on as we wake up this Sunday morning it is blinking red. We have a warmer day ahead of us compared to yesterday and still a few more snow showers in sight. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by La Fontaine Ford Grand Rapids. Well, for those of that are fans of winter weather, at least there's a coating of snow on the ground as we wake up. Nothing significant, but enough to be noticeable as uh, we wake up this morning. The view, no matter where you're at around West Michigan, from Holland, Fremont, even to Pentwater, uh, snow on the ground, roughly about a half inch to an inch of snow in many spots uh, fall or fell overnight. And as we continue to wake up this morning, we have a few additional light snow showers across the area, but the bulk of this is starting to peel out of here. Just a few pockets of light snow here and there. This is all starting to exit to our east as the morning goes on. Pretty uh, straightforward forecast today. A couple more hours of this scattered light snow. Really nothing of impact now as we're into the daytime hours and by afternoon. All of this will be gone and we're under quiet skies for the second half of the day and we will remain quiet through tonight throughout the entirety of tomorrow as well. So if you have any uh, plans tomorrow here across West Michigan, it'll be smooth sailing to kick off the new week. We will have another dry day tomorrow. At least dry weather will prevail through tomorrow. In the meantime, temperatures will climb into the middle to upper 30s today. So that's just negating any additional impact from the light snow that we have seen throughout the uh, overnight hours. Our focus turns to Tuesday. It's been the talk of the forecast for several days now and still remains. So the energy associated with this system on Tuesdays all the way back in the southwestern half of the United States, and that's going to take the storm track right into the Great Lakes. Now there has been growing consensus of the weather models that here in West Michigan, we will see varying degrees of impact because of the different types of precipitation that is expected. Now let's time this out Tuesday morning morning. That's when we'll see the initial wave of precipitation arrive here at home, and this will be mostly snow Tuesday morning all across the board around West Michigan. And I think we'll see a quick hitting couple inches of snow Tuesday morning with some impacts, at least more than what we've seen this season. But as we make our way into the afternoon, the second half of the day of Tuesday, some warmer air draws in and we will for many see a switch over to snow, at least for a safe bet for my 96 to the south. Now Tuesday night and the Wednesday colder air draws back in on the back side of that system and everyone will see a switch over to snow and it'll turn quite gusty as well. The wind will Tuesday night and the Wednesday. Let's uh, let's put this in a, a visual uh, aspect. So again, Monday is dry. That's the key there. But Monday night into Tuesday morning. Here's daybreak Tuesday. Widespread snow across West Michigan. This will be a wet, dense snow as well. So I do think there will be some impacts. A messier Tuesday morning by far. Here comes that warmer air drawing in from the south, south to north fashion. And you can see that switch over to rain, especially from I-96 to the south. I wouldn't be surprised that rain snow line even edges a little bit north of 96 as well. But for our northern communities, if you're closer to US 10, Fremont, Big Rapids, Ludington, everyone in between, this appears to be an all snow event of that wet, dense snow. Backside of the system comes in Tuesday night and a Wednesday. We draw in that colder air and that's when we see a switch over for everyone. Even those that switch over to rain back to snow Tuesday night and a Wednesday with some lake effect as Wednesday progresses. So now again, the rain snow line still a little bit up in the air that will wobble a bit between now and Tuesday between the model data, but it does appear uh, roughly M46 is a good bet for now. So just north of Muskegon through parts of uh, Kent City, Cedar Springs, Greenville to the north. Mostly a snow event, several inches of wet, dense snow throughout the day. Now south of 96, yeah, there will be some accumulation in the morning, but we'll see that switch over to rain and that will slightly negate those impacts before we all switch over to snow. Bottom line, it's a day just to keep an eye on things, especially if you do have plans. You have some travel plans. It's a day where there will be some impacts across the area, but we don't need to sound the alarm just yet. It is January. We expect these type of systems here at home. Temperatures today in the 30s, a dry afternoon and evening ahead of us. Any light snow that's accumulated on the ground, uh, that's going to be done with pretty shortly. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. So Tuesday and the Wednesday, it's all about that rain snow line where that really settles across West Michigan. We're going to be in the heart of it and then additional rounds of winter weather look likely through the end of the week. Another round of light snow Thursday, potentially another system for next weekend, but at the very least colder air draws into West Michigan and by next weekend. Yeah, we're talking 20s for daytime highs. That would be the coldest uh, air of the season so far.